Hi, my name is Tveti and welcome to the walkie-talkie Let's Chat experiment. So for this experiment, you will need two yogurt pots per pair, three different lengths of string, scissors to cut the string, a pencil and a drawing pin. We take telephones for granted. Can you imagine life without telephones? Well, actually, the first telephone was registered by Alexander Graham Bell on 14th of February 1876. Now here we're going to make our own telephone, which will not probably work between two different towns, but you will get the chance to have a conversation with someone else from your class. In this experiment, we ask the question, how can you make the most effective telephone by just using a string and a yogurt pots. To find out, we will plan and undertake a fair test. We will make three different telephones using yogurt pots and string. We will use three different lengths of string to see how it affects the sound, but we will keep the same size of the yogurt pot to make it a fair test. We can make other experiments by changing the size of the yogurt pot or adding weight to the string, like socks or paper clips. What else can you think of changing? We make our telephones by using two identical plastic cups or yogurt pots. We start by poking a hole in the bottom of the cups or pots using a drawing pin. We then push a pencil through the hole to widen it just enough to push some string through. We then cut a bit of string, which I have already done, like this, that is a little longer than the length that we need. And we mark on the exact length using pencil, ensuring that there is a little extra on each side. We then thread each end of the string through each pot. so that the mark that we have put on the string lines up with the bottom of the cup itself. On the inside of the cup, we make a big knot at the end of the string so that it can't fit back out of the hole again using the extra length that we have included. To use the telephone, one person puts the cup to their ear while the other moves as far away as possible and then talks into the cup. Make sure the string is fully stretched when you speak. You can then do any other experiments that you like to try and determine which works best as a telephone. What do you predict will happen? Now, let's make our two other telephones using some more yogurt pots, which I already have here, with a hole in the bottom. I'm going to use my medium and long pieces of string. What did you conclude from your experiment? How will you share your findings? Let's check out what we have done today. So we asked a question, we planned a fair test, we completed the experiment, we recorded our results and we drew conclusions from them. It's your turn now. Watch again and join in. Your teacher can press pause at any time. Good luck and enjoy.